So now that we've created a master table and some mini tables and linked them into the master table, we can think about creating some sort of a form. Now you have to realize that if you double click on orders master, you don't want to manage this data this way every single day. I mean, it's useful to do sorts and filters here, of course. But what you want to do is create a nice looking form where you can interact with the data with nice kind of aesthetics and uh, a look and feel that you like. So let's close this. And what you're going to do is up at the top in the Create tab, you're going to use one of these form buttons. Now, each one does something differently, and you might want to experiment with what you're comfortable with. Uh, for example, a form wizard will take you through a series of steps to automatically design a form for you. I've tried that. I find it's a little bit limiting, uh, you know, too many options and so on. You can just start with the blank form with nothing on it. Uh, you can use this, which is just a completely automatic form. And I'll just do that just to show you what happens. If I click it, it'll automatically give me a form that looks like this, which in my opinion just doesn't work because the fields are all exactly the same size. Access decides where everything goes. So I'm just going to close that and not save it. What I like to do is go to form design. That is the most effective, the most customizable way of creating a form. And you can make it look uh, the way you want it with your own design style in mind. So let's click on it. And first thing is you're going to see this space here with the little dots on it. That is what your user will see. So you have to kind of anticipate how big will the monitor be that your users will be using this in. So if they're going to use it on one or two or three different computers that are all the same, all are 22 inches, uh, then you'd know exactly what size to make it. So I'm just going to experiment with this. I'm going to go to about eight inches to the right and then about maybe to six and a half, maybe seven inches going down. So that's pretty good. It's not that big, that small. Maybe I'll go back to this. We'll see. Okay, let's go to five inches, and then we'll kind of figure it out later, right? So first thing you want to do is you want to right-click in this space and do a form header footer. And when you do that, it's going to create a space at the top and a space at the bottom that will make your form look really professional. So let's have a look. Let's do the footer first. And we're going to add some elements to the screen. And I'm going to show them to you one by one. So the elements are shown in buttons across the top here. So I want to use this box here, which is called label. Now in PowerPoint, that will be called a text box. But in Access, this is the text box. Do not use this right now. That's a special box, right? Use this. And this allows you to put simple words anywhere on the screen. The words don't do anything. They just sit there. You can just read them. So I'm just going to click right here and type in send call ink and click now maybe put in the word copyright at the beginning so let's do that copyright and you can actually take the copyright symbol copy and paste it into here so do it in word copy it paste it into here so I'm gonna click outside and there it is so if I click in it now this is where you have to really practice if you click in it and move to the edge you see those four arrows you can now drag and drop that wherever you like and you want to make it nice and tight you don't want to leave huge blank spaces like this want to make it nice and tight so click in here and highlight the text and let's go up to the top where it's home in the home tab and we're going to change the font color let's make it black and of course you can change the font the font size and so on to your liking now I can right click in this little space here do fill back color and just choose a slightly different color there we go and I'll go to the top as well. So let's make that as small as we can. That's good. And let's go to the top. Make that a little bit bigger. So what I want to do up here is put the send call logo and then maybe a title. So let's do the title first. Uh, notice that our buttons disappeared. You have to look up here. They're either in format or arrange or design. Okay, most likely in design. So there it is. There's your label button. Click. Let's click over here and let's call this orders master. Okay, that's what our uh, form is called. So click out, click in, go to format, and let's change the size to, well, let's say about 20, 20, let's do 24. And you notice the words are hidden, so you have to make the box bigger. Okay, access does not do that for you automatically. And the rule is don't leave a box hanging that big. Kind of tighten it up and make it as small as it needs to be. Okay, so let's move it over to this side, maybe a little bit to the top. And we're going to put a logo here. So we do have a file that you downloaded called Send Call Logo. Let's go to Design. And there's a button here for Image. So if you take a look, it's this button here. Okay, uh, And you might actually see it more like this, where it might be on the right-hand side. 
let's make it um, this button here click and then just click where you want the image go to where the image is click OK and there we go you've got yourself the image so let's move it up the top a little bit and then make this as small as we can and we'll, we'll leave the color that's a pretty good color okay now those are just for show down here in the middle this is the most important part so what we want to do is we want to take specific columns or fields from our master table and put them here in an arrangement that looks good to us uh, and of course uh, works with the way that we look at the data on a daily basis so here's what you're going to do at the top and we're in the design tab so at the top you're going to add existing fields show all the tables and of course these are all the tables we've created and the data that we have is in order master table so click the plus sign so do you see the whole list of different fields over here good uh, so let's start we want to see order ID now you can double click on it and it'll just put it randomly somewhere right so I'm just gonna delete that or I could drag it and drop it to where I want it now I'm just gonna work on this one right now you see a field it has two parts to it there's the label over here and this is the actual data here right you don't want to type in anything here but you could go and change the words over here you can change the font the color and so on so I want to make these close together so first of all if you grab this box here that allows you to move just that part of the field closer to the other part and of course this box here lets you move this so quite often you might want the actual data below the title if that's the look and feel you're going for go ahead here's what I'd like to do click move it up here I'm gonna go as close as I can and then there we go okay so there we go you have a field Now I'm gonna put product right over here now you see now if I take my mouse and I put it here with the four arrows I can move both the items together okay and once you practice with it you'll kinda get used to how to arrange everything in one nice kind of click and this does take time so quite often you can do a whole database in let's say a few hours but then to fine-tune it like this might take the longest amount of time just kinda aligning everything up now you notice these dots you might want to count the dots to make sure that everything is lining up perfectly so in my case I'm choosing to align it this way versus towards the left okay so let's put customer and I'm gonna put customer down here and let's see let's put the field here and this over here okay so that's pretty good so far let's have a look at what we've just done I want to save this you have to give the form a name and I'm gonna call it order master and let's go to this view here okay there we go that's what you've accomplished you've got a header you've got a footer you've got this main space over here and all your three fields that we arrange here now you notice the order ID box is probably a little bit bigger than we need you can always make it smaller let's have a look at product yeah that's a pretty good size right my drop down box is working this is my customer now if you go down here notice we have 793 orders you can go back and forth and have a look at each order it's pretty cool now thing you could do is go down here and if you know the record is roughly around number 500 you can always just type the number in; it will automatically go to that particular record okay so let's do this let's save this let's go back to design view and we can continue to add all of the other fields together and I'll show you something so let's say I added country over here right we'll just make it kinda look like that and we'll put NAFTA regulation CETA regulation and I like to have these checkboxes over to the other side so move those over again you want to practice this right and let's see where will look good I think it will look good kinda like that that's good put it like that so we know country we know if it's NAFTA regulated CETA regulated and I think that's good for now now have a look I wanna move all of these together I don't want them there I want them in this corner you don't have to move one at a time just take your mouse draw a line around it it selects everything and then just go in this space here see the four arrows take them move them as you wish okay move them here move them there whatever you like actually I'm gonna leave them right there now on my form here um, I've got two groups of information that are related I've got this stuff here and this stuff here so I want to use some buttons that appear in my design tab for example the line or the rectangle right they don't do anything they're only visual I'll click on the rectangle and just draw a rectangle around here let's see 
and that would just give it that nice little crisp look okay and I'll do another one right around here again design is your decision I like to line things up nicely so they fit perfectly uh, I might even put a a little line let's say over here there we go now we can finish adding the rest of the fields as we wish uh, but I just want to show you a couple of things let's do order date over here and let's put notes over here so these are two unique fields that I need to show you so I want to put notes here now remember the notes box is simply one huge box that you can use to type any notes related to that order and you know you want to be able to type in at least a couple of paragraphs if you need to so make it that big picks up the order date a little bit there we go and again I like my rectangles we're just gonna draw around that okay now let's take a look I'm gonna right click fill back color and I don't know let's go with something a little bit green there we go okay perfect now let's save this and let's view there we go now in a short few minutes we built something it doesn't look that great the idea here is for me to show you what what you can do with it but you want to spend some time making it reasonably good now, I'll tell you what some of the no-no's are okay when you're designing uh, you don't want to cut any of these titles off the titles have to mean something to the user so whatever you call your field to begin with that's okay you can change the title to anything you like uh, the person has to be able to see it and in no way at all should you have to scroll back and forth so for example if you created a screen that was so big that it went all the way off to the right and the user has to scroll back and forth it means it's not efficient you should never have to scroll back and forth in general rule you shouldn't have to scroll up and down either I've got lots of real estate here uh, I've got lots of space I can put all sorts of things so now uh, we're gonna finish making this form beautiful later on but let me show you a few more things let's say I want buttons on here a uh, button that takes me to the next record to the previous record to maybe save it maybe to close it maybe to print it so let me just show you let's go back to view right now I have to use these little buttons to go forward and backwards and they're kind of small right uh, I don't really want to do that um, and this button here if I wanted to add a new record that doesn't exist I click here for example I could say uh, you know the product is I sold Bringa to a customer called Calco uh, who's NAFTA regulated in the USA the order date now have a look this is cool order date uh, calendar pops up and then will ship in January at 8% uh, discount so customer wants a late delivery will give them a discount right that's how you use it and then you save it but I want to put big buttons here to do that so we're gonna go to design view now ask yourself where the button will be right around here somewhere right that's called navigation in your design tab let's pick this button here it's actually called button click click anywhere and this pops up now you want to read carefully first of all what type of a command or action will the button take when you click it so we have several different options here we have record navigation and that tells access to go to the next record the first record last record previous record and so on we've got record operations that allow you to delete or save you generally don't want to duplicate uh, certainly add a new record undo a record form operations I, I like this we're gonna go over this later on where it can close this form and automatically open up another form so if you're going through different forms a lot and you want to put buttons to go back and forth this is really cool uh, report operations to open specific reports preview or print them we'll look at that later on uh, don't worry about application right now but miscellaneous uh, we'll look at later as well so you might want to run a query right on the spot or run a particular macro uh, right on the spot so let's go back to record navigation let's do one that says uh, next record okay so click click next and it's asking you what do you want the button to look like a picture and I think most people know that an arrow going to the right is next record or do you want specific text up there okay so we'll try one of each let's do a picture here and by the way there are other pictures there as well right you can browse pick other pictures from windows and so on let's do this next uh, you can name the command something if you like uh, I generally just leave it the way it is click finish and you've got yourself a button right it does work trust me now if you click you can move it around let's do one more in the design tab 
click the button click over here let's do record navigation previous record and this time I'll use a word and I'll just say previous I'm pretty sure people know it's gonna be a record that's previous there we go click next click finish and it gives you the word previous so it works trust me that will work okay now I don't really want this so I'm gonna delete it click on it delete it do another one click record previous next picture next and finish done and then take your time to kind of put it where you'd like to put it and you know me I like these rectangles so I'm gonna put rectangles here okay now I'm gonna put another button click this time it's going to be record operation save the record next um, I don't know I think save would be a good word I'm not sure what those little pictures mean so you can have a picture of a disk too I suppose and that'll allow me to save the record and you can make these bigger and smaller uh, if you like and you can change the shapes as well so if you want your buttons to look different you can go up here to format and change the shape so I might make this one let's let's make it uh, let's keep it round okay done and you can try different styles here as well you see the quick styles there we go let's save it let's go back to home let's go to view and take a look okay next record I can zip through back and I could save so experiment with those going forward we're gonna look at a few more features in the next video